apparently it's been a week since I last vlog. Feels like a lot longer, but I don't know, I guess when you're doing a bunch of things, time seems like it's passed by a lot faster, I don't know. So as you can see, I'm back in the dorm. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm, it's not bad. Uh, I started classes last week. Went well, got in the class I wanted, so... Um, anyway, so I wanted to do a quick little rant thing. I, I don't know what to call it. Um, if you got the pleasure of uh, seeing my last rant on my original channel uh, about rap lyrics and how like awful they are and that little kids shouldn't be rapping <laughs> um if you didn't I'll uh I guess sum up what I said in it um or what I, what I did um uh, yeah, I pretty much I was talking about it if people actually really listening listen to lyrics anymore. Kind of, sort of, not really. I didn't really focus on that, but I probably should sometime because I'm probably in that small percentage of people that actually pay attention to lyric con like the content, and I I'm a substance person. So, um, so I was talking about this episode of Kids React that I watched with these two little girls that were on Ellen and they were singing, singing rapping Super Bass by Nicki Minaj and one of the kids pointed out that I don't think this is appropriate for them to be singing and so I went and looked up the lyrics and um, <laughs> they really aren't appropriate for these kids so there was like a couple like I don't know inappropriate words for you know five year olds to be saying. So anyone under the age of eighteen shouldn't be saying such words. So um, I was seeing how like the lyrics weren't that great, and I'm not a if you didn't know I'm not a Nicki fan at all. Like my way of thinking is. Um, why listen to Nikki when I can just go listen to Little Kim and actually enjoy what I'm listening to? Or Foxy Brown. Or, um, I don't know, Missy Elliott. Uh, Lauren Hill. I don't know, just better female rappers from like the 90s, early 2000s. Um, so then in the video, I proceeded to read these lyrics from uh, a Dr. Dre song called Forgot About Dre. And I was telling how, I was seeing how like clever it was, like that he kind of bragged about the things that he's done in, in, in like the past. It was like a quick history lesson in like the first verse. Um, although I did kind of give kudos to, uh, Nicki Minaj for mentioning a Slick Rick, but not really saying his name. If you caught it, I will give you 10 points for the day for catching that. So, um, anyway, so that was pretty much what I said, and to, that, that I suggested the next time you listen to a rap song to actually listen to the lyrics. So, um, I don't really want to repeat that whole rant because honestly I don't feel like looking up lyrics and reading them because the last time I did that in the first uh, recording I stumbled a lot reading Forgot About Dre. Um, my brother joked about uh, Nikki probably screwed up my reading abilities so I became completely illiterate when I started reading it. Oh and I also mentioned another YouTuber that was uh, reading uh, Tupac lyrics or something and she was comparing it to the stuff she normally listens to which is like show tunes and stuff. Um, I think she's a pretty interesting person. Um, she was on a talk show, uh, Dr. Drew's Life Tutors. Uh, she was a self-proclaimed Oreo. 
so that made her interesting uh, some of the things she says makes me feel less of an oreo but not really because i guess our interests are very different she likes show tunes i like j-rock so <laughs> yeah she wants to do plays i want to make really thought-provoking gruesome Sion Sono movies um Anyway, so I wanted to kind of add on to the whole rap thing. Um, it was something I watched on YouTube some time ago, a couple months ago before finals, I believe, or maybe during finals, I don't know. Sometimes I get distracted for hours on YouTube with dumb content. But um, it was something some girl was ranting about how dare you let your child you know rap this song it was like a, it was a Nicki Minaj song too and she's only like four or something and you just you just continue to record and think that's so cute and you know I agree it's really ridiculous that there are so many like videos of parents recording their kids uh, singing these rap songs with all these like inappropriate language for their age they shouldn't be exposed to such content that's why there's parental advisory stickers on cds so people that are not 17 18 whatever can't buy they they're the only ones that can buy it if they're like over that age and for kids to be exposed to that i mean can we you know uh preserve their innocence for a little while because you know if you haven't noticed kids are growing up way too fast i mean if you watch ridiculous shows like mari i mean these kids want to have babies they want to keep their boyfriend be by having a baby they want to be grown they want to go out whenever they want they disrespect their parents they want to do drugs they want to party they want to drink they want to do all this like adult stuff they just want to grow up so fast and when that when that happens then they don't want to take the responsibility for their actions and <laughs> since I'm like older, I'm not gonna say how old I am because I'm pretty sure a lot of you don't know and uh, just assume that I'm pretty young uh, in a sense of like high school, but obviously not. Um, but <laughs> doesn't matter, age doesn't matter. But I know when I grew up, when I was a kid, I didn't want to grow up. Like, I honestly didn't think about having sex, having babies, going out, party, uh, let alone disrespect my parents by calling them names. And I, I wouldn't be alive, honestly. If I yelled at my mom and called her a B word, the B word, and hit her, I wouldn't be alive right now. <laughs> And she's like the nicest person in the world, but I know if I if I disrespected her, she would not be the nicest person in the world anymore in that moment. I, I would be gone. Um, and it's a shame that kids right now are like that, And but um, that's like nothing to, I guess I kind of that trailed off but anyway yeah watching these parents film their kids see rap songs and they're just like oh that's so cute and then it's like even more annoying when like there's comments like saying oh your girl's so cute that was adorable like encouraging this like this behavior and that it and the fact that it's on youtube is awful and i commend all the comments that said how how could you you know do that and think that uh, it's all right because it's not cute um i kind of want to like i don't know if it's like a, a media thing or these or these people think they're like um that they think they're cool parents for doing that but it's not cool so don't don't film your kids singing rap songs with like bad lyrics i mean and bad lyrics i mean 
yeah. profanities. <laughs> so, it's just not a good idea, really, is it? Because I mean, we already have problems with youth today, and I can see that because I'm like in my 20s. So, <laughs> and I, I, I sound like an old person half the time when it comes to stuff like that. And I've been looked down upon by a uh, freshman, sophomore when I was in high school for all the old music I listened to because I'm an 80s, 90s person. So, yeah, that, that's not cute. And I think I, I'm not gonna like generalize and say that like all parents fit this category, but I'm just gonna guess the people that actually film these videos of their kids singing these inappropriate rap songs are uh, of the Caucasian persuasion and just are like, oh, that's just so cute. They're just like totally ignorant to the to the situation. And they just were like, oh, look at my kid. They just, they know this rap song. You're so cool. And then, and I guess, and indirectly, the, that they're cool. Uh, my other guess for the parents that are actually filming these kids are um, young parents, like people my age in their like twenties that had like kids when they were in high school or whatever, because they listen to that stuff and they they also think oh my baby is can sing Vicky Minaj super bass or whatever the the song is. Uh, that has tons of profanities in it because they're they're ignorant i don't know they they just don't care they're just blinded by the the cuteness of it all i, I mean i'm used to home videos of little kids singing like twinkle twinkle little star or even sue lays was like cute even though i hate that song but it, I mean, it was like, you know, oh, that's so cute. I mean, the only controversy there was when people were, were, were kids were performing it and their choreography was too, produ too provocative <laughs> for their age or whatever. So, I don't know. I guess my message to, for, like, the, yeah, the message to this whole <laughs> rant, uh, is one stop making your stop letting your kids listen to the music that you're listening to it is not appropriate for their age i guess to encompass all that just preserve innocence we need more innocence in this world and it's great to actually meet people like me in college that are oblivious to certain things like bad things, you know, like they're still innocent in some way, they're not corrupted by media and the pressures to like do drugs and alcohol and sex and break from the law and joining gangs and whatever, you know, I think that's really cool. So that's, that's my message, please preserve the innocence of the kids, cause I mean the kids are the future and I'm already like afraid of what the future is going to be like with like uh, that me generalizing the stupid kids I went to high school with cause honestly they scare the heck out of me for what my future is going to be like. But yeah, so there you go, preserve innocence. Uh, anyway, um, I'm gonna keep drinking my soda because all the talking made me thirsty. And I'm gonna work on the blog. Um, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Um, check out the moderator on my page to leave reviews before March, whatever, when they change the format. Uh, check out Muddy Colt. And uh, I hope you like this format, I guess, of filming. I don't know. It's pretty much my old format with me not editing anything. It's just me listening to music. So, anyway, uh, have a nice week. Um, enjoy yourself. Peace, guys. <laughs>